Uh, Damar, just tell us how uh, fall camp's been going for you so far. Oh, uh, fall camp's been going really good. Uh, I think it's been been really smooth. Uh, the days have been going by. You know, it's been pretty. The days be pretty long, but I think we're getting a lot of knowledge. Uh, the team is coming together pretty well, and you know, I'm loving it as of right now. I'm just embracing it, having a lot of fun. You had spoken recently about um, the system and sharing the football and how you guys are all working together. How's that going so far? Sir? Uh, I think it's going pretty smooth. Uh, like I said, um, all three of us are going to be on the field. At some point, you can't keep all of us off the field. So I feel like, you know, with us just sharing the ball, I feel like it's going to take some hits off of us. And, you know, we're going to be able to make big plays in the stadium this year. You still smoking the other two in the 100-meter dash? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> the uh, football account released a picture of you breaking a long one in the scrimmage. Oh, yeah. What what happened on that play? Uh, So um, we were gassing, like, gas is just our tempo. And um, I seen the hole. I think it was about, like, a 65, 70-yard run. I broke down the sideline, ran straight past the safety, and that was it. Coach Reese kind of talked about you as just sort of being a leader in the locker room. And mm -hmm. just wanted to ask you just kind of when that, that maybe really became a focus for you and just what it's been like to kind of take on the leadership role. Uh, so I, after last year, you know, being behind Tank and uh, Jarquez, I learned a lot from Tank and his leadership. And I just, one of my goals coming into this next year, I just wanted to, you know, be a leader for, and do anything that I can to help the team out. I feel like I embraced that role, you know, coming during winter workouts, but really it started during summer workouts. Uh, I feel like I took a leadership role, took it to the next level. Um, you know, the guys in the locker room respect me. You know, they listen to anything that I have to say. And I feel like that's what we all have to do to be close as a team. And I feel like just taking this role, being a leader, I feel like it's gonna help us go far in this season. What was the conversation like with Coach Freeze talking about you taking on uh, the role as accountability leader? What did he say he saw in you? You know, what was that like? Uh, so we didn't really have a conversation about it. You know, it's a it's a few of us uh, on that on that list. You know, we're all working together. It's probably about eight of us. Uh, if I can name them right now, it's probably uh, me, Keontae, Elijah, Jay Fair, um, Jason Jones, um, Luke Dill, uh, and a, and a few and a few more others. Peyton Thorn and, and those guys. So um, yeah, we haven't really had a conversation about it, but I know like what he expects out of me on the field, you know, when the team isn't coming together as well. He expects me to go out there and, you know, tell everybody to pick it up. Um, and that's just what he expects out of us, really. What have you seen out of Jeremiah Cobb so far? Uh, Jeremiah's gonna be a really good running back. He's a really good kid, uh, you know, outside of football too. He's just, you know, he's a kid. He doesn't talk much, but, you know, I get him to talk a lot. But, um, but yeah, he's gonna be really good. The way he hits the holes, um, you know, He's still getting a feel for it right now, but you know, he's gonna be really good. We see you sometimes on like Twitter recruiting and, and, and whatnot. Is that part of taking on more leadership? Like you wanna be hands on? Oh yeah. Uh, you know, since I was a recruit, that's just the way the way that I live, man. Uh, I feel like in order for us to get to where we wanna be, which is winning SEC championships, winning national championships, we have to get the top recruits in the nation. Like we have to get them like and I think we're on, a, we're on a good start right now, so we gotta just keep it going. You mentioned talking in that running back room. You got some quiet guys in there. How, oh, do, yeah. how, do, you, uh, how do you try to get those guys going? Uh, I just feel like we all we all connect um, in different ways. Uh, it starts with Coach Light, though, man. Uh, Coach Light's a funny dude in the meetings. You know, he makes it fun, not just boring. We're just sitting there watching film. He makes it fun, and I feel like everybody, you know, gets comfortable with him and. You know, we start we start sharing our stories together, um, making jokes in the meeting room. I feel like we, we're all we're all connected. Who else talks other than you? Anybody uh, else? <laughs> pretty quiet, but when I'm around him, he talk a lot. Brian uh, talks a good bit. Yeah, Brian. Brian talk a lot for sure. Yeah. Quiet, right? Nah, Sean, Sean talk a lot. Hey, hey, Sean is funny. Okay. <laughs> Sean probably the funniest running back in the room for sure. Uh, a guy like Peyton Thorne, he comes in during the summer, right, and goes yeah. to the spring with you. Uh -huh. He's trying to be a leader, trying to win the starting quarterback job, which is a leadership position overall. How has he worked sort of getting to know his teammates? I mean, how has he fit in just on and off the field there? Uh, like, I, um, I think Coach Reed said this one time, but, you know, in our first, like, I, I met Peyton a while back when I was in recruiting. I took a visit to Michigan State, and, you know, I could see just the leadership 
like mentality that he has. And when he came in, like he had a binder, of just like, um, like the staff, like their faces were on and he was trying to get to know their faces. Like he was trying to get to know everybody around us. So I think he takes pride in just, you know, getting to know everybody and everybody around, around the facility for sure. Tomorrow, obviously, you had yourself a pretty good scrimmage on Saturday. Who else on the offense would you say performed well? Uh, I feel like all the running backs performed well. Um, you know, just all around, I think we performed well. Could have did better. Um, it was a little hot, so, you know, uh, tempo wasn't as fast as we wanted. But, you know, we've been getting better with the tempo, uh, wearing down the defense a lot. I think, I think the offense had a pretty good day. When you look at the running game right now, the improved offensive line, if you think so, the running back room, the tight ends you got experience. Oh, yeah. I mean, how good can this running game be? Man, the, the offensive line, man, I can't even, like, I can't thank them enough. Like, the improvement that we had at O-line is, is drastic. Like, I love I love those guys. Um, you know, I try to make sure I tell them probably, you know, once a day, just, just keep them up. Like, you know, keep blocking your tail off. Um, you know, they're, they're doing a good job up front. I think we're going to be pretty good. We're going to break some really long runs this year, for sure. We talked to Camden last week. He mentioned the offseason you're having. What can you say about how your game has improved from the end of last season? Um, my mentality just coming into this this um, next season, like, you know, offseason, I was just like, I just got to be different. Like, if I want to get to the goals that I'm trying to achieve, I literally have to be different. I have to do things that other people aren't doing at specific times. Like, I have to take the next step. Like, I'm doing what's required, but I'm also going to do a little bit more. Like, you're going to see me most of the times, you know, I'm the last one off the field. Um, and that that's just how I roll. Like, I got to be different. Like, I want to go to the league. I want to be great in the league. And I think that just takes the next level of drive. And that's just how I approach this off season. You mentioned having goals. Just what kind of goals do you have individually for this season? Uh, for this season, um, I definitely want to have a a pretty good rushing, pretty good rushing season. Uh, my goal is a uh, thousand yards. Um, I want to do pretty good in the in the receiving game as well. Um, and really, just for me, I just want to do anything that I can do to get my team to an SEC championship. I just want to do anything that I can do for us to just come together and just build with each other and just bond with each other and win big games so we can bring Auburn to how it was. What does it mean to be cited as a leader by different players and, and Coach Freeze uh, this offseason? It means a lot, definitely, uh, you know, coming after the season, just stressing that to myself being one of my goals uh, for this team. And I feel like me being a leader is just putting myself in the right direction for my future as well. Damari, hardest hit so far during camp. What did you say? Uh, hardest hit? I don't know. Have you um, taken it? I don't think I took a hard one in this camp. <laughs> nah, not yet. <laughs> Any this week before practice? Nah, not yet. <laughs> I try. I try to. Um, I balance out my diet. Like during the week, I'll probably I'll eat like I eat good. But you know, if I got like an off day or something, I'm definitely gonna go to Sheila C's. Jamari, have you taken anyone on a date to Walmart? <laughs> my girl. I take I take my girlfriend to Walmart. That's why I asked because I seen some people on, on Instagram and stuff. You know, some little girls saying that. Longhorn is not a day, and I'm talking to my girlfriend. We like, we love Longhorn, so <laughs> we're going to Longhorn. She is so, girl was the yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whose idea was it first? Take a good Longhorn, I assume. Yours? How'd it was hers. Oh, it, it was hers. It was hers. I'm like, Longhorn, like, because I've never been to Longhorn, and then she put me on to this, this ribeye, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, I used to, I ain't been in a minute, but we used to go like every week. Talk about uh, Brian and how he's fitting in into this room to you guys. Man, that's my guy, man. I just feel like we welcome him in with open arms this year. Uh, he fitting in well. Uh, we're really close. Um, I feel like he's going to play a big role in the offense this year, and we're all going to, you know, see the field a lot. And, you know, I mean, he's going to make some big plays this year for sure. More boys taking over? Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I say yeah. But, hey, Georgia all the way, man. <laughs> Jamar, are you playing any special teams right now? Uh, Yeah. Kickoff return, kickoff. And, um, you know, I'll do anything in practice just to help the team out, like, 
punt, punt return, anything. Anything I can do to help the team. You mentioned learning a lot about Tank in terms of leadership. Yeah. Just, I mean, Coach Lack, you know, how has he maybe impacted your leadership style the most? Are you talking about Coach Lack or Tank? Coach Lack. Coach Lack. Uh, so, man, Coach Lack, just the things that he preaches to us every single day in meetings, I, I take note, like, I have so many notes written down in my notebook about just the things that he says to us, and I take it and I run with it, and I use it to my knowledge because he's been through everything that I've been through. You know, he's played the game at this level, he's played in the NFL, and I just feel like, you know, taking notes from him definitely evolved the way that I, I approach the field, the way that I lead my team, for sure. Is there one thing in that notebook that he said that really just kind of sticks out to you always? Uh, always. Um, well, the, the one thing that sticks out that he, he always stresses to the running backs is just like, um, the, there's only two things we can control, and that's our effort and our attitude. And I just want to, like, emphasize that to the people around me because, you know, when it gets hot out here, um, you know, it gets hard. We don't know how hot the first game is going to be. And our effort and our attitude is the only thing we can control. Like, it's going to be some bust plays in football. It's, it's football. You know, everybody going to mess up. But if you're doing it 100%, you know, that play might turn out like it wasn't, it didn't look like a bust play. You feel me? So I feel like we keep our attitude right. We keep our mentality right. And our effort, man, we can be really good. Did, did, he, talk, did he talk to you guys about what it was like um, for him and Ronnie when they shared the ball back oh, in the day? Oh, yeah. He always talked about it. And he talked about just how room, just how big the running back room was, how deep it was, and how they all benefited from each other. It, it pushed them when they came and practiced. And it kind of reminded me of uh, our running back room now. Like, every day it's a competition. Like, we're all competing. Um, but we all love each other. But they know, like, when we're on that field, we're gonna have fun with each other. But when we get we, when we get in our turn, we try to make the best of it because we all trying to have plenty of time. In some of the practice, sorry, and some of the practice videos that we've seen, even the one past you've had the 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 deuce celebration. Yeah. Do you have any like? Do you have any other plan, or is that kind of your what you, what you want to roll with as you as you? As you, as you, as you uh, I mean, <laughs> I was kind of thinking, like, sometimes in my room, I just think about, like, you know, what's going to be my, my first touchdown celebration. But, uh, I mean, I don't have another one planned. That was just kind of natural because I was just blowing past a guy. And uh, I think I'm going to stick with that. And hopefully the crowd catch on. They throw up the deuces, too. So, you know, that's